Thank you for attending another episode of Eka Hawal to short video by Advanced Network Devices. In this episode, it is intended to demonstrate the effect of number of SSID and minimum data rate on airtime utilization and thus network performance. In the image that is presented, uh, and it is for planning of a Wi-Fi network, we have certain access points deployed throughout the uh, area, and uh, they are running on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band. As we can see, the airtime utilization in some areas are not very attractive, and we need to have a better understanding of exactly what is going on. By hovering the mouse over the areas which are marked in red or orange, we can see the uh, performance or airtime utilization. We can see that uh, in this segment, the nearest AP is contributing 10% to the airtime. Other APs are 35%, which is a total of 45%, and free airtime is about 55%. Also, we can notice at the lower portion of the window that the management frames are contributing to 31% of the airtime, which is significant, while data is only 12% and control frames are 2%. Now by going and modifying the scenario to reduce the number of SSID, we will see what will be the effect of the airtime utilization. By going to network configuration, we can reduce the number of SSIDs per radio and the software will visualize exactly what will happen with reducing the number of SSIDs. And we can see it has changed from red to or from orange to green. If we hover our mouse exactly on the same area, we can see now that the access point nearest in this vicinity is contributing only 5% of the airtime. And the other APs are only 19%. Uh, with a total of 24% and we have now an airtime of 76% versus in the previous uh, window it was only 55%. And also we can see at the lower portion of this window that the, day, uh, the management frames has reduced from 31% to 11% while the data frame uh, and the control frames are remaining the same. Let's see if we can improve this even further. By going to the uh, project network configuration will try to increase the minimum data rate from the existing 2 megabits to 12 megabits and we will see again what will happen and hopefully it will further improve the uh, airtime that is available for uh, usage. Once we hover our mouse over the um, area, exact same area, we can see now the AP is only now uh, taking 3% of the air time and other APs are 13% and um, uh, then the total uh, utilization of the air time is 16%, thus we have 84% free air time. Furthermore, if we go down to the lower portion of the window, we can see the management frame have, has reduced from 11% to 2%, control and data frames are remaining the same. So we can see by changing the number of or reducing the number of SSIDs and increasing the data rate, we have significantly improved the performance of the network. Let's have an overview of exactly what has happened. In the first instance, we had this window where we had the management frames with 31%, data at 12%, and control frames were 2%. In the next instance, we uh, went ahead and we reduced the number of SSIDs to 2. And we can see that the management frames reduced from 31% to 11%. And in the last instance, we increased the data rate to 12 megabits per second while the SSIDs remained at 2. We can see the management frames reduced from 11% to 2% while the data and control frames remain the same. And we can see now the airtime that is available to us is 84% versus 76% and 55%. This shows and indicates that we should not have more than 3 SSIDs per AP and we should increase our data rate as much as possible 
so the slower devices do not need to get on the network basically. This concludes how SSIDs and data rate will affect the airtime utilization. Thank you for watching and be sure to attend future ECAHO how to short videos.